Hello! This video is part of a build log series where I'm making motorized shoes that you would wear when you play a VR game. Shoes would keep you in the same spot as you walk, like a treadmill, allowing you to walk infinitely in the game, but stay in the same spot in the real world. The last video ended off with me saying I need to design a new binding for the shoe. The binding is what your foot straps to. I went through three or four different prototypes. Here is one of the earlier ones where your foot would go in here and you would strap it in. Then you'd have this thing that goes around your foot. But I found that this kind of design, it's pretty big and bulky. And if I shook my leg back and forth really fast, it didn't hold my leg in place very well. Then I came up with this design, which is much more simplified. And as I lift my foot up and down and move it back and forth really fast, it held my foot in place. So this one works really well and it's much simpler and I'm happy with it. So after making a binding design that I was satisfied with, I made the second shoe. While all the parts were printing out for the second shoe, I did some coding, I updated my Android app so that I can control two shoes at once, and I added some very basic braking to these things so that they would break at certain points while I uh, am testing them out. I'm gonna strap these things on and do a quick test. I'm going to walk forward and I'm gonna strafe sideways and we're gonna see how they work out. Keep in mind, I'm manually controlling them with my phone. That'll be automated later on. And that the algorithm I have loaded on here is very basic. It's in a very early stage. It'll get better, I'll add tuning and all that stuff later. And also I found the hardware isn't really that great. The Arduinos are not that fast and I need to upgrade the hardware to something faster. So all in all, keep in mind that these are just barely ready for a test like this and they are not that responsive at this point. I will address those things at a later point. And with all that, let's do the test. And that's testing. So like I said, they aren't terribly responsive. Sometimes I would click the app and the shoes wouldn't move right away, especially when I was doing side to side motion. I would put my foot out and then my foot wouldn't come back right away. I would press the app and it would wait like half a second and then come back. I'll replay um, some of the footage so you can see that more clearly. So I was manually controlling these things and having to match the speed of, of these shoes while trying to account for that lack of responsiveness. Given all that, I think these uh, work well. I don't really see any problem with them other than the lack of responsiveness. So as soon as I upgrade the electronics and write some more complicated, um, finely tuned code to this, I really think that these things could, um, could work well. One small thing that I did see with the binding is that uh, notice how my foot is perfectly straight and parallel with the shoe. I found that when I was turning, I could turn my foot a little bit like that so that now my foot is going off a little bit, but the shoe is going that way. So I just need to maybe tighten the binding down or maybe make it a little bigger or something. But that was just a small thing. But um, I did notice that it made it kind of harder to do that test because my foot could move so much like this. So I just think these shoes need to be more responsive 
and I need to have finer control over them and that's it. Then they will work really well and we'll do another test. I'll buy the new electronics and improve the code and we'll see how this works out. I might wait a little bit to buy the new electronics because I spent a lot of money on this project last month for the motors, the VEX, the Omni wheels, my YouTube setup. So I might wait to spend a little bit more money. If you guys want to help out, there is a donate link in the description. Anyway, leave a comment below, let me know what you think, and like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.